motocross means to me just everything you would have told me I was going to be a pro five years ago I'd have been like nah nah just this is fun my name is Dakota Tedder from Surfside California 20 years old I race professional motocross and supercross I got involved in racing when I was about four years old. Didn't really have a choice. Dad rode all the time, took us to the track, didn't know any better. And then I got old enough to get good and go to the races. And we just kind of did it for fun, enjoyed it. A couple years ago, I was a sea rider and then went pro. Don't know how or why it worked out, but it did. Me and my mechanic Damon Conkright, we've been working together for a little over a year now, probably a year and a half. It's, it's been awesome. I mean, the dude is on it all the time. My name is Damon Conkright. I'm the crew chief for Team Tedder, and I'm also the race mechanic for Dakota Tedder. I've been a professional motocross mechanic for 10 years. That's probably the best mechanic out there, best mechanic I've ever had, and I've, we've had a lot over here. He just he wants it to win as much as I do. We have two checklists at the back of our practice rig so we don't show up without anything. And then uh, the routine at the uh, track is, you know, before we even get there, the tire pressure's up, so all we have to do is let tire pressure out. He's got a full tank of gas. All he has to do is throw his leg over it and go. A lot of guys, they, they're in it for the cash, they're in it for the good time. We got guys coming in, hoping, thinking we're a big party scene, and we're not. We're just, we're looking for a good time, you know, to talk and just whatever, but we're also here to, have, like, race. Dakota's really easy to work with. Uh, he wants to do good, and he's not someone who's gonna try and get out of doing too much too often, so if you tell him to go out and do some more laps or he needs to go back and do a section differently, he's gonna go back out there and do it. When he gives it 100%, makes me want to give more. And he looks back and sees the same thing, so, it, I mean, it's incredible. The way we've been running our program lately is we have Steve Lampson, our trader, is also the riding coach. We allow, we let Lampson pick and choose the places we go ride. It's up to him where we ride, when we ride, how long we ride. Uh, Steve Lampson, rider coach for Team Tedder. We brought on Steve Lampson this year, and uh, he's, by everyone I talked to, was the gnarliest dude when he won. So. I do anything he tells me to do, and I believe in it. I think there's multiple things. I think uh, just our riding time on the bike and doing that correctly, and then um, mentally, I think that's the mental aspect is like huge, you know, for these kids to come into these races and uh, be mentally strong, and then obviously physical where I do go to the gym with those guys and got them on a program where they're, uh, they're working out pretty hard. I'd say gym is almost half the battle, maybe even more on a motorcycle, because you can only be so good as a person. 
and then you have to be strong enough to be push it further to get better. Today out here at uh, Lake Elsinore, we're on put on the board that you know Musquin's two seconds faster than him right now, and then he picks it up a little bit, so it motivates him a bit to get going. And uh, I just try to keep it like an even program and, and just work hard and do the best I can to, to get these guys going. If you only ride the bike for 10 minutes because you get tired in a day, Chris is a guy who can ride it for an hour, he's going to learn more than you did in 10 minutes because he had an hour to train on the bike that day or at the races. Steve Lanson out doing some family things, so Damon Conkright got to take over the program. We uh, went to uh, Comp Edge, did, some, did a lot of sprints and corner practice and just, you know, technique, you know, and skills, build that skill level up. From a corporate orphan to a fucking headless horseman, acrobatic jack o lantern flying like a spaceman, wearing bathing eight, but I'm on planet. Damon's freaking awesome. Everything he does, it's great. Go in on here. You know you got a gap, and let's throw one down. See what we do. Fantastic, but my environment is still like Iron Man on acid. When I was doing dope, was a lying little bastard. But now I'm back a dragon breathing fire. I'm a master. I, I drink a can of monster, which give me magic powers. Then I do a fucking concert. Inebriated Libra, I am not what you would say. Went to Milestone today. Track got watered, so we went to a corner track and just worked on tight little ruts and stuff that you only see at every track a couple of turns. But you know, you still got to be good at every turn, every straightaway, every jump. This is what we got to do. This is what works. I think I backed it off a little bit just to keep them hungry all year and, and not get burnt out. The game plan for the rest of 2012 and leading into 13 would be right now just kind of build speed, get in that top 10. We're trying to get hole shots. We're there every weekend. We're top five, and you know, one of these weekends we're going to get one, and that's one of our goals. And the other one is to break into the top 10. We're going to work on speed for the next couple of weeks, and that's going to put us right where we need to be. We've made some big steps this year, hoping to make the same big steps next year and put it on the box eventually. Next year is going to be a step up for sure. We're going to hit everything a little bit harder and be more ready than we were this year. It's not over yet. Just getting started. Things clicked eventually, and you might click when you're 20, you might click when you're 10, do it because you love it, and then it could be where I'm at or where Bill Poto's at. <laughs> so, never give up.